Time now for an in-depth look at the market news this afternoon, and for that I'm joined on the line by Dr. Kim Sewan, Professor of Economics at Ihua Women's University. Professor Kim, good afternoon. Thank you for coming on today. Good afternoon, Devin. Well, let's start at the Federal Reserve. Uh, as our, we just heard, uh, the minutes from last month's meeting are due out tomorrow, Korea time. Ahead of that, uh, Fed Governor Lael Brainerd, who normally favors a loose policy, said the Fed needs to move quickly and aggressively to tackle inflation. The Fed's already expected to lay out more plans for unwinding QE at its meeting next month. Tell us about these comments from Brainerd and what you see happening there. Uh, U.S. Fed is giving a very strong signal to to raise the interest rate and to to decrease the money supply in the end. Uh, as you said, that Governor uh, Lael Brainerd, uh, who is awaiting Senate confirmation to serve as Fed's vice chairwoman, that she anticipated shrinking the Fed portfolio, sometimes referred to as a balance sheet, and a series of interest rate increases to move the Fed. Uh, interest rate stands to a more neutral position that no longer provides stimulus to the economy later this year. So as a whole, Federal Reserve is strongly committed to taking steps uh, that will reduce inflation this year, including by approving significant reductions in its $9 trillion U.S. dollars of that portfolio at this policy meeting only in May, uh, along with more aggressive interest rate hikes. So the fast uh, intensified steps will be an additional factor for Bank of Korea to raise the key interest rate faster uh, than expected. Right. Uh, in Korea, we do see consumer prices up more than 4% in March, the first time that's happened in 10 years, which, as you say, would seem to only make it more likely that the BOK will also raise rates. Uh, it's seeming more likely that the next hike at the Fed will be bigger, too, possibly uh, 50 basis points. Uh, what do you make of the situation, Professor? Well, I, I, I very much agree with you, Devin. Uh, according to Statistics Korea, uh, March is 4.1% on-year increase in, in, in consumer prices was the fastest rise since December 2011, 4.2%. Uh, this over 4% inflation is much more than that of the market's expectation. A surge in energy prices and weakness in, of Korean currency added to the sharp a uh, rise uh, uh, of the of this number, but even the core inflation rate, which excludes volatile energy and food prices, so the sharpest increase uh, since December 2011. In March, uh, the core inflation rate was 3.2 percent. The second month in a row, uh, it exceeded 3 uh, percent. This super high inflation, along with U.S. Fed a stronger and faster steps to raise key interest rate will lead Bank of Korea uh, to raise domestic interest rate faster and higher until the end of this year. Well, with all this talk of quantitative tightening, stocks on Wall Street closed uh, quite a bit lower. More of that affecting tech stocks, though. The Nasdaq off by two and a quarter percent. Uh, there were gains in health and consumer staples. What's the story in the global equity markets? Uh, U.S stock indexes declined Tuesday as investors weighed the prospects of more assertive actions by the Federal Reserve to curb inflation. Uh, since tech stocks are more sensitive to interest rate changes, so tech stocks declined more than 2 percent on average on Tuesday. Uh, the, the Dow average slipped 0.8 percent, and the tech-heavy Nasdaq composite also slipped by 2.3 uh, percent. Also, as, as we talked about, Fed's government, uh, Ms. Brainerd, said the, at the conference on Tuesday that the central bank is strongly committed to reduce its $9 trillion of asset portfolio next month. So that really helped to, to lift the market interest rate expectation and make stocks more, uh, more less attractive because uh, companies' uh, profit will be decreased along with higher interest rates. Uh, in Japan, the Nikkei 225 retreated 1.6 percent today, uh, while in Hong Kong and mainland China, markets were mixed between uh, uh, almost flat uh, re daily return of the Shanghai market and the 1.7 percent retreat in Hang Seng uh, index. 
Well, today, Korean stocks were down as well on many of the same issues linked to the Fed. Tech shares on the Kazdaq uh, down a little more. Among the biggest companies, only a few bright spots, namely car makers. Tell us about the domestic market. Domestic market declined today uh, due to U.S. Fed's and Bank of Korea's stronger interest rate hike uh, signs. Also, domestic investors are still fret with continuing geopolitical risk of Ukraine war and global production chain disruptions. The benchmark cost be slipped 0.9 percent, and cost have also slipped almost 1 percent today. Uh, most of the large cap stocks are traded lower today. Uh, for example, Samsung Electronics lost 1 percent, and SK Hynix also dropped almost 3 percent uh, today. Uh, foreign investors and institutional investors' sales, uh, net sales led both of the Cosby and Costa market down, downside. Uh, both investor groups' uh, net sales came to 683 billion won and 745 billion won, respectively. Well, finally, Professor, last year, Korea's national debt grew to about 2.2 quadrillion won, which is getting pretty close to $2 trillion. The country's debt-to-GDP ratio rose to 47 percent. The government's liabilities, though, will be growing in the future because of fast-growing population of uh, senior citizens that we see and combined with a low birth rate. So how would you say the government should approach uh, its debt and these closely connected issues? Uh, Korean government total debt last year exceeded uh, 2,000 trillion won, or 1.65 trillion uh, U.S. dollars, for the first time as uh, spending surged to fight the pandemic. Increases in public service provisions due to increased hiring also stressed the budget. Uh, Korea's 2021 financial statement uh, showed that the increasing 10.8 percent uh, government debt to uh, uh, GDP ratio, uh, according to government's uh, release uh, today. Last year, the debt to GDP ratio was 47 percent, up 3.2 percent points from previous year. It is up 11 percentage point uh, since uh, rise since 2016. Uh, economic inter interpretation of government debt is actually next generation's more tax payment. But as you said, as aging is rapidly going on in Korea, the tax burden to the young people will be seriously increased if low birth rate problem continues. So to avoid this uh, catastrophic situation, it is important to implement a government debt control program as soon as possible. Right. Uh, Professor, we'll have to leave it there for today. Thank you, as always, for sharing your insights with us. We appreciate it. Thank you very much, Devin.